Ryan, I promise this photo is fake. I didn't do anything to her. You've got to listen to me. Why am I supposed to listen to a murderer who took my wife away from me? I already told you she was unconscious when I got there. You expect me to believe that? I swear that's what happened. I know it looks bad. I know I look like a suspect. But I need you to trust me and trust that I'm doing everything I can to help Allison find out who's really behind this. So how do you explain this? I... I can't. I didn't have any kind of weapon on me. You can ask Allison. I don't know how much more of this I can take. I'm sorry, Conrad. Seeing something like that would have made you act the same way. I'm not blaming you for anything, man. I'm just glad you believe me now. Whoever's framing you, I hope you and Allison find them. Want something to drink? Just water. Have you guys made any progress? We found the trickster's helper tonight. That's good. But I think someone's stalking May now. Dang. I hope she'll be okay. I hope so too. If you need someone to talk to, I'll always be here. Thanks, man. Do everything he tells you to do. Otherwise, Conrad Bradbury will get harmed. The trickster. <laughs> Bird Street 11, come at any time. Alone, or you'll be next. Don't call me ever again! What's going on? Someone came here. I looked out of the window. And he looked straight into my eyes. I found an envelope with, with, with a photo of me looking through the window at him. God, I, I need help. I need your help. I need anybody's help, please. Oh my god, May. Uh, don't move. I'm coming over. I'm afraid I might be next. I'll be there in 10, 15 minutes max, okay? Okay.
It's okay. I'm here now. Conrad? Hi, Allison. We need to talk. All right, let's talk in my office. So, what do you want to talk about? May, you first. Um, in the night, someone turned up at my house. It was a guy. He, he wore a black suit and hat. There was also another one, but... I don't remember what he looked like. It's okay. Let's focus on the guy in the black suit. I was looking through the window when he suddenly looked me right in the eye. It scared me so much. Do you remember what the other person did? I don't remember. Anything else? There was an envelope with with a photo of me looking through the window at that specific moment. Uh, are you serious? <laughs> I am. Do you have this photo with you here? It's a Polaroid. That would explain why you found it so fast. What about you, Conrad? I think you still remember the moment you found me with Agnes Parkson's body. Of course I do. Yesterday, her husband Ryan showed me this photo. The trickster seems to be going to great lengths to frame you. I don't think he'll stop until I take the fall for his crimes. Okay, thank you for your reports. We're going to take care of it. Mr. Waits? Can we talk? I have no other choice, I guess. Do you recognize this woman? never seen her. What about this one? This one was actually my job, I admit. It's that guy from yesterday, right? Of course, that's him. What can you tell me about this photo? It's fake, obviously. I used deep fake technology to make it look like he was holding a knife. Why would you do that? <sighs> Someone asked me to. The trickster? Answer me. Was it the trickster? Yeah, it was him. Thank you. He's going to get pissed off if you know too much. And I'll become his next victim. Nothing will happen to you here. Oh, by the way, you've got a visitor. You're allowed 15 minutes. Brad, watch him. Karina? What are you doing here? Nice try, Chasey. Don't act stupid. Can't you see how I ended up? I can see, and I feel really sorry for you, darling. However, I think you're pretty safe now. But we'll see how long it lasts. At least the trickster won't get your ass in here. Why are you here? Our tricky boy told me to look for you. I observed Conrad Bradbury, and I noticed you with him and the detective. You really screwed up this time, didn't you? Any more mistakes and our boss will want to keep you around. I know! I- How much have you told them? I- <sighs> I really can't stand it anymore. I quit. <laughs> so you're turning your back on us? Please, just leave me alone, okay? I don't want to do this anymore! Poor you. Is he here somewhere? Fortunately for you, he doesn't know you're here right now. <sighs> so what do you want then, Karina? I want to set up a meeting. A meeting? Maybe you haven't noticed, but I'm kind of tied up right now. As soon as they see that there are still new victims, they'll let you out. What should I do then? Nothing. Just sit in your ass like always. Anyway, that piece of meat over there is starting to make me uncomfortable with the staring. So... I'm going to go. Bye-bye, Chasey. Wait! Karina!
Weather's nice, huh? Good old Indian summer. <laughs> it's the most beautiful time of the year. Yeah. And it reminds me so much of you. Does that mean I'm an autumn kind of girl? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, look, our little prince. Dad! Hi, Captain. How's your day, buddy? Not bad. Oh, oh, Dad, can you swing me? I'm coming. Excuse me, can I buy this one? Oh, of course. One dollar. Before you go, I have something to ask you. What is it? Okay, buddy. Do it on your own. I gotta find your mom. How did this happen? The woman selling balloons brought me here. I just wanted to buy one for Peter. <laughs> what woman? I can't see any balloon seller. She had red hair and strong red lipstick. Uh, wait, Karina? Who's Karina? I'll tell you later. We need to call the police. So basically, all we know is he finds victims to hypnotize. Then, one of his helpers brings them to a specific place and sets it up as if it was a homicide or a suicide. Don't forget that the victims also wear an expensive necklace. We also know it has started with Dina Perry's case. So that's the modus operandi we're figuring out. What's next? The trickster seems to have it in for Conrad Bradbury. He's either sending letters directly to him or targeting his acquaintances. Like you, Allison. I talked to Conrad and his wife today. It seems like she's being set up to become the next victim. Why do you think that? Last night, a man in black clothes took a picture of her through her window and left it for her to find. Damn. That's terrifying. She phoned her husband for help afterwards, but clearly she's being stalked. Wait, Conrad and his wife aren't living together? They're separated. It's complicated. If she's being targeted, then we should definitely put her under surveillance. That way we can catch the guy in the act. I live around the same neighborhood, so I can volunteer. I'll take it into consideration. Excuse me. The chief told me to inform you about a new victim. Lauren Huston. She was found by Mae Bradbury at Willow Avenue. Willow Avenue? Isn't that close to where she lives? It is. Warren could have been her neighbor. Thank you, ma'am. We're going to take care of it. I just want this to be over. So do I, darling. How long will this go on? Honey, come here. <laughs> Please don't worry that much. Fear is your biggest enemy. What if I'm the next target? May, what have I just said? I'm sorry, it's... it's just so hard. May, look me in the eyes. We're gonna find the trickster and punish him. I know Allison and the police are looking for him. They've already caught one of his accomplices. His end is really getting closer. I hope you're right. The police... They're here. This is Rick Torres, one of our officers. We need to talk to the both of you. 
Nice to meet you, sir. We discussed what happened last night, Mr. Bradbury, and we've come to the conclusion that May needs security. So until we're able to find the trickster, Rick will be watching over her. I'm not going to be bothersome. I live not that far away from Mrs. Bradbury's place, so I'll be periodically checking in on her and making sure there is no suspicious activity going on in the area. Thank you. For whatever reason, Conrad has become a major target of the trickster, and we want to provide some sort of comfort by giving your wife extra security. I understand. Um, Mr. Torres, please take care of her. If anything happens, I'd love to be informed first. I can assure you I will, sir. Thank you. Hey, May. Is everything all right? Yeah. Nothing has happened yet. Rick just left, too. You call him by his name? Well, he said it'd be easier if I did, so I thought, why not? I see. How's your work? Um, it's going good. I think the sketch might need a few changes. The deadline's getting closer. <gasps> yeah, well, I'm sure you'll make it. Everything all right by you, too? For now. Let's just hope it stays that way. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Someone's at the door. Hi. Hey, it's just Ryan. I'll let you go then. Thanks for talking. Bye. Okay, bye. Take care of yourself. Have I interrupted you? No, you haven't. I was just talking to May, seeing if she's all right. Thought I'd come to see you because I have something urgent to tell you. What do you want to talk about? About Agnes. She woke up. Are you serious? How is she? Has she said anything yet? Does, does she remember what happened to her? Nothing much. Just stuff about Bird Street 11. That's not a place I tend to visit. As far as I know, it's just a nightclub. But I'll keep looking into it. I'll let May know to stay away from there, just in case. <laughs> May, don't go to Bird Street 11. Bird Street 11. Come at any time, alone, or you'll be next. No. It seems like something's still missing. Someone's still here? Someone's still here? Ah! Allison? Damn it, Rick! You scared the hell out of me! Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. I guess it felt like you were in Resident Evil, huh? Fortunately, we're not facing any zombies this time. Only some freak called Trickster. Right. <laughs> Have you checked on May Bradbury? And what are you doing here at this time anyway? I have. She's completely alright. And um, I forgot my photo camera, that's all. Since when are you a photographer? Oh, it's just my hobby. <laughs> I like taking shots of nature, mainly birds. Can I see? That's a nice one. Aw, oh, thanks. I bought it a while ago on sale. So, what about you? What are you doing here at this time? I'm trying to figure out what we're missing. Something to make all these pieces finally click together. I choose to believe you'll find something. <laughs> Don't stay up too late, though. Wait a minute. There was an envelope with... with, with a photo of me looking through the window at that specific moment. Do you recognize this woman? Never seen her. Since when are you a photographer? Oh, it's just my hobby. <laughs> I like taking shots of nature, mainly birds. Rick? Rick? Oh my god. Mr. Rates? 
Mr. Rates, I need your help. What are you doing here? Help me. Shouldn't you be in jail? Can't you see my manager here? Uh, okay, come inside. Oh my god, let me call an ambulance. No! I'm fine. Just need to patch it up. You are not fine. If I go out, he's going to... He's going to get me. Just... Get me band-aids or something, please! Relax, man. Nothing's gonna happen to you here. Can I stay here a little bit longer? I'm really scared for my life. I'm not stupid enough to help an accomplice of the trickster. You got your band-aids. Now go. I quit. That's how I got into this mess. I'm not buying it. I betrayed him when I told you about his actions. He's a sick man. He stabbed me. He wants to kill me. Listen, I want to help you to get rid of him. Even though you helped him out not that long ago, I looked for help, and I thought he'd be the best option. He was advertised as a psychologist. Oh, that's such a long story. I don't even want to talk about. I'm really sorry for being intrusive, but I really need to survive this night somewhere. Okay, you can stay here, but only until dawn. Thanks. I appreciate it. How did you break out anyway? I didn't break out. I mean, I didn't intend to. Someone helped me out and then left me not too far from here. Someone left you here? Yeah, pretty much. I was told it was for my safety. What about your own home? He knows where I live. I can't go back there now. Mm. Unknown number. It must be him. He wants a video call. You better pick up but I'm not going to show myself. I've been waiting for you, Conrad Bradbury. Who are you, Trickster? Show me who you are. Not a problem. 